Just let me open it. first more than two thousand dollars cpu that i i'm holding in my hands so and there's the main board i am not that computer guy so let's hope that i won't break anything slide out the external cap before sliding in the camera frame external cap what what should I do? What should I do? Do I need to screw something? All right, turns out that this could fit. It's the first time that I ever put this screwdriver into, onto a main board. Perhaps I should have. Oh, oh. Okay, turn the camera off because I need both hands. To have, oh my God. Not yet. Perhaps I could break. Okay. And three. Oh, I need to put this off. But how? Oh yeah. Remove. Remove. Okay, just try it. Oh, so <gasps> this. Will hopefully fit. That's so. This doesn't seem to be right. I'm gonna turn it around. Why couldn't they make any 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 sign? Or is there a sign? I don't see it. So there's there's a golden a golden triangle. So there is a black triangle. Perhaps black and golden should come together. Okay, seems that I got it right on the first place. Golden triangle should fit together with this black triangle. Seems to fit. Now I'm gonna close this again. I'm gonna tighten it. One, two, three. And now I got it. Open, three, two, one. Close, one, two, three. I didn't read this before, so I hope it will work. Where's the power supply? Oh, no, first, um, this. What the hell is this? I mean, whoa. Let's see how is this gonna work out. Oh no, more screws. Please peel off before you use it. Better, thank you. <laughs> this is looking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so do I need some cooling paste or so? As I thought, there is some cooling paste. This looks ridiculous. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, put in the cooler right onto this. But first I have to find out how the screws are working. These metal parts won't fit into these holes right there. So the cooler won't be able to fit 
onto the processor. Turns out that I, I have bought the wrong cooler because I need the version with a TR4. <sighs> Luckily, we have K&M Electronics. So I have been going there and the TR version of the cooler, they had still one TR left in stock. Yeah. This is the right cooler. It has a bigger metal plate on the downside. See, so this is the Threadripper TR version and this is the Intel version. So now I can see. And this bigger metal plate will fit onto this bigger processor. Hopefully, by the way, it is damn stupid to put the cooling paste onto the processor before putting any metal parts on it. So next time I know better. The part, which hopefully, yes, that's it. Oh shit. Do you know what I have just found inside the package of the AMD Threadripper processor? This. This is a screwdriver. I didn't know it exists inside the box of the processor. Which what? Which 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 uh, you can easily measure how tight you screw it. So. will re-screw my screws. But how does it work? I cannot... Let's see the manual. I love manuals. I love putting them away. But this time I need to read it, right? Yes. Interesting. They're yeah, very interesting. Yes. Are you still watching? But there's no, no, nothing to explain how this screwdriver works. Just turn it. Let's just like a normal screwdriver. But how do I know whether it's tight or not? Perhaps I'm gonna try this. I will put it here. If I won't be able to further turn it by touching it here, perhaps it's tight enough. This would be kind of intuitive for me. Right. Right. But it turns out that I, with the other screwdriver, so with, with this one, I just kept it quite good. And now back to the cool part. Parts. <laughs> I will use a second fan and there's just the hole right there and I will put in it there, there, there. Cause you're chasing the hurricane
aber auch der Wurst. Beautiful. Looks a bit like a V8 combustion engine, I think. <laughs> combustion engine powering computer. So, and my task is now to put this into this. So, so this seems to work. This, this screw doesn't, oh, can you see it? No, you can't. Fits. Fits, 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 German music. Um, cables, 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 cables everywhere. This is a very important cable because it's the power supply, the main board. Four times two pins. Give me this. But the problem is I have only one of these cables. But there are two jacks to put this cable. I only have one. I hope that I will be able to power the CPU then. Um, I have here my old operating system on this solid state disk. I will just connect it and put it in here. And this is an extension card. With I, which I do need because this mainboard has no graphics chip on it. I, I cannot plug a monitor right there. So I need to have a graphics card. This is a GTX 1070 from my old computer. On the mainboard, I couldn't find the pins for these cables. Power switch, HDD LED. I just need the manual again. Mm -hmm. There it is. HDD LED, pause with reset switch, re re reset, reset switch, power LED, HDD LED, and so on. And hopefully it works. Hard drive. Okay. I have this. Computer's working. Graphics card, power supply cable. I think it's time to look whether it's working. It's living. What is this number telling me? Display shows nothing still. So right now I just have to look what went wrong. So I will try to find out what the hell is going on here and why there's uh, error code 2 um, uh, appearing. And after this, I will tell you. Troubleshoot cable. So I pulled off the graphics card and let's see if this works. No. All right, so what I found out, I made something terribly wrong. I, I found out that this carrier thing needs to be um, yeah, carrying the CPU. I, I, so I pulled out the CPU again, and now I have to put the CPU into the carrier, put the carrier with the CPU in there, and look what, what's, what, what's going. All right, so now I put back the CPU inside the frame, and now I will place the frame with the CPU.
So I put it in the cooler again, but didn't fix it yet. So um, I just want to see if it works right now. So plug it, switch it, and see if it's working. And again, error two. Okay, I have no idea what I can do now. All right, guys, now I exchanged memory. This is 32 gigs, and again, 32 gigs, it's 64, but I exchanged it for my old RAM. So this is um, eight, and eight makes 16 for my old main board. And let's see if this changes anything. Seems to be other things. So no z zero two error message again. Holy shit, this could be the memory. What do you want to tell me? All right, now with graphics card, with tightened cooler, with keyboard and monitor, let's try it again. And look, we have got something. Bam, I have made it. All right, machine is working and seems like AB or A6 is a proper, is a proper sign from the main board. It looks like um, the, the, the CPU frame wasn't the error. The error was just the wrong memory, and something is something is uh, wrong with this VGens DDR4 uh, memory. With it should be 3,200 megahertz. So this old memory is just yeah two one three three and only 16 gigs. So right now the machine is working. That was my goal for today. But um, how fast it is? Next video.